Howdy ho folks, another video coming out. I hear a lot from some of the people in the more social justice -y crowd types, and usually some of them are gun controllers themselves, but they want to ask, well, why isn't there a black NRA? And the answer to the question is very simple, very obvious, very straightforward. But they're not taking the hint. You see, the NRA actually does defend everybody's Second Amendment rights. Let's start off with reciting the Second Amendment real quick. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Let me restate the operative part. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This is an individual right. This is not a collective right. It applies to every individual who is a U.S. citizen, further clarified by the 14th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. But let's not forget the NRA has come to the defense of people who aren't white men. This woman is Shanine Allen, and she was arrested in New Jersey with a Pennsylvania concealed carry permit and a pistol. Let's not forget the NRA did come to defend her. Several other gun rights organizations did too. Let's not forget that when the NRA opposes something like an assault weapons ban or any other new form of gun control, they're defending everybody from that. Let's not forget that one of the NRA's commentators is Coleon DeWar. So yes, implicitly and explicitly, the NRA, as well as other gun rights organizations, defend everybody's gun rights across the board. So when I hear Black NRA. So yes, when I hear calls of why isn't there a black NRA or why doesn't the NRA defend black people's gun rights, which the latter is not true either. They do just the same as all the rest of the gun rights organizations. I, I, a few things come to mind. One, obviously, that example with Sarah Silverman either implying that blacks are too stupid or irresponsible to own firearms. That'd be the first thing. Or two, trying to paint us out to be the racist that they are. Could be another thing. Uh, and three, possibly the SJW community, the social justice community, trying to interject their identity politics into gun rights, which goes in contrast to the principles of gun rights, at least the gun rights community, we view them as individual rights. We don't view them as collective rights. They're individual rights, they're regardless of your race, your gender, your sexual orientation, yada yada. So this one comes from the stereotype that black people are criminals and that if more black people had guns, the NRA would be in favor of gun control, which again is not true. Again, this is a stereotype. There's a stereotype going around that white people love their mayonnaise. Well, I fucking hate mayonnaise and I would go hungry <laughs> as opposed to eat something with mayonnaise on it. So, just because something's a stereotype doesn't necessarily make it true. All I gotta say is, come on, let's get real with this here. Who do you think the NRA is going to endorse in a presidential race? Ben Carson or Hillary Clinton? 
Who do you think they're going to endorse in a congressional race? Alan West or Charles Schumer? Sheriff race. Who are they going to endorse? David Clark or Clancy Dutnick? Give me a break. In fact, the only people who would be using any sort of racially charged language in any of those elections would be the gun controllers or the Democrats, which, yeah, there's plenty of overlap between the two. They would be the ones using the term Uncle Tom. So give me a break on this one. And the last one I want to cover is the social justice warriors attempt at injecting identity politics into the gun rights community. Because I know social justice warriors like to inject their identity politics into anything they can. And on that one, I'm going to say the gun rights community isn't falling for it. We don't support you on that one. In fact, some of our very first gun control laws were put in place because some white identitarians, some white supremacists, didn't want black people to get guns. So guess what? You're not a part of our community. And as far as we're concerned, you can go sit in the corner with the Imperial Wizard and all the other KKK members because you're no different than they are. So to hell with you people. So yes, we do want more law-abiding firearm owners. We do want more gun rights advocates. We want more people to be able to enjoy this gun culture. Speaking personally, I know there are a lot of people that aren't able to enjoy U.S. gun culture, maybe because they live in a state with draconian gun control laws, or they're in another country and haven't gotten to experience that yet. Doesn't matter what your race is, doesn't matter what your gender is, doesn't matter what your ethnicity is, doesn't matter if you're straight, gay, or anything like that. What matters is the freedom. The freedom to choose your own tool for personal protection. To choose the best tool for personal protection that you can possibly choose. What matters is the freedom to go and hunt to go and skeet shoot, to go and competition shoot, to go and plank, to go and do the thing you like, even if it is just having an overpriced novelty here, that you can go and shoot for fun and spend a lot of money doing it, you know, and have a good time doing it. That's what matters. That's why there is no black NRA. That's why there is no white NRA. That's why... There is no gay in a ray or straight in a ray. That's why there's no man or woman's in a ray. It's just the in a ray and gun rights organizations. That's what matters. Guys, I hope this video was able to make a little bit of an influence. I'm sorry. I would have thought this would have gone without saying, but uh, apparently it needs to be said. Thank you guys for watching. Share this video. Y'all take her easy out there now.